all right so first of all in electromagnetic induction uh, we would love to write the definition and uh, the definition is related to you should write about Faraday's law now Faraday's law suggests that EMF or current EMF is just voltage okay is induced EMF or current induced is proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux okay now <clears throat> magnetic flux itself that you see this word is basically the interaction of magnetic field and the coil all right coil or wire whatever it is like that so flux is like you know for example we have a coil like this okay and then the magnetic field is like going through it it means now the flux is maximum and if the coil was like that and the field was going parallel to it so now flux is zero do you guys understand this so we can always say when the at this point the coil and field are 90 degrees to each other and that's why it's basically causing it to have full flux and here coil and field are zero degree to each other which means that now there is no interaction as the they, they're parallel so they're not actually touching each other is it clear everyone yes sir yes sir okay so this is basically let me change the color so that we don't mix up things okay here you go all right now so then there was another scientist named Lenz and his Lenz's law is also we need to know. So Lenz's law states that the direction of induced current is such that to oppose the change causing it all right now you might not understand it just by the definition but we're going to learn just now in a bit okay so you can write this down and then we're going to go forward Okay, now, 
So, suppose that we have We are going to do experiment to demonstrate the electromagnetic induction. So what's going to happen is, <coughs> suppose that we have a coil. And then we have an ammeter placed like this. Okay, I'm going to copy this coil. So I want this again, again. And there is a magnet north and south, which is like relatively far away. But right now the magnet is stationary. Okay. So when it is stationary the current in the ammeter is shown zero this is the reason because number one there is no change in flux when change in flux means the change in interaction so they're far away from each other so there's no change happening there is no change in flux when when magnet is stationary all right now let me give you an analogy side by side <clears throat> suppose we had three best friends okay and there was somebody they did not like now that person used to stay away from them never you know coming towards them so would they have any problem with that person who's going to tell me this Yes, what do you guys say? If there is a guy who doesn't interfere in these three people daily routine or whatever would they be offended or would they be worried about anything? No. Yes, no. Good Najaf. So, there's no issue right now. But what if One day, they realize that these people are coming towards it. So now it's moving. Right? Because it is moving towards it, what is really happening? The magnetic field which was like before like this, now the magnetic field is getting closer, which means the flux is increasing, right? Suddenly, you will see current going in a certain direction. Now current is not equal to zero. There is some direction. So let's, let's put it this way. Suppose the current is this way, right? So when the magnet moves relatively or relative to the coil current deflection is seen in the ammeter all right so which means that this we should remember that so, 
चेंज इन मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स कॉजेस ईएमएफ टू बी इंड्यूस्ड ईएमएफ ऑफ करंट और सो बिकॉज नाउ देर सम चेंज हैपनिंग दैट्स वाई ई एम एफ इज इंड्यूस्ड सिमिलरली वेन दीज पीपल नाउ देर चिलिंग and suddenly they realize that this person is now trying to interfere coming towards them just to be part of the group what would be the natural natural reaction to this who's going to tell me this what would these three people do if they see the person they hit their that person is coming towards them Okay, they will try to. Yeah, yeah. go on. If they want to oppose him, they will try to probably do something to oppose that guy so that he can just move away. Doesn't isn't this what people do, right? Yes. The same way. why electrons have moved in this because by moving they are trying to create an opposite induced pole and because the north was moving towards them they want to oppose this magnet so they create a north of their own to such that to oppose this change causing it do you guys understand recalling lenz's law do you understand yes, Okay, so they want to oppose the direction induced current is such that to oppose the change causing it. So they are trying to oppose it. Now, now the next thing. So then the magnet becomes like comes real, really close. Okay, like really close. Now all the field is going through the coil like that, but. the magnet becomes stationary it's not moving anymore so the current here would also become zero why the current becomes zero so let me just move it a bit up like here okay why the magnet uh, there is no current because again no current is induced as there is no change in flux now flux here the flux was minimum here the flux is maximum here but that doesn't really make the current flow basically the change in flux causes emf to be induced if it's stationary there is no change happening do you guys understand this Yes. Now, so sometimes we are really wrong about people, and then suppose these three people, and that guy, that person was very insistent and persistent, and that person now becomes your best friend too, because you realize okay he's not so bad. So now you guys are chilling, and you're like best friends, living the life you know you always wanted to. Now, the thing is, there's no issue now, so. because there is no issue he is just there in your group and you guys are having fun now because there is no change happening so you don't worry about anything but one day this person decides that he no longer wants to be the part of your group and he is now moving away Now you love that person, right? Now he's moving away. Would you try to stop them? Yes. Acha. So 
because you want to stop them you would oppose this change happening so if you want to stop it what would you do you would try to induce a south pole on this side and because south pole attracts the north so you're trying to stop that magnet move away which means now the current is going to move in the opposite direction like this such that to create this south pole to oppose this change right now the the change in flux causes emf to be induced in the opposite direction to to oppose the change causing it do you guys understand now because obviously if you're like really best friends with that person and now that person is so mean he wants to join some other group you would definitely try to stop them so that's how it works do you guys understand this Yes, sir. So now, basically, what what we have learned today is that Faraday law has given you the idea behind induction that how current can be generated, and you learned that it can only be generated if there is a change in flux. And the thing is that. it is always in a direction the direction is such to oppose that change causing it so if it's going it's moving towards you you will oppose that if it's going away you will oppose that by going in the opposite direction is it clear any questions now no okay. Okay. All right. Now so this experiment it can be written all right and you just need to write when it moves away and it moves you can make these drawings and stuff so that's very simple you can always you know do that now the next thing would be that we need to know the factors affecting the magnitude of induced emf that how can we actually increase the e uh, induced emf so we can say induced sorry mag magnitude of induced emf can be increased by number 1 increasing number of turns in the coil using a stronger magne magnetic 
field which means that um, using a stronger magnet right and then the third thing is that moving the magnet or coil faster so if you move it faster of course then the change in flux will be uh, the rate will be higher which means greater magnetic uh, EMF will be induced all right please write this down then here right note moving magnet faster also increases the <coughs> frequency of alternating current magnet or coil sorry faster also increases frequency or trending current in generator okay so we're going to talk about the generator but right now just write the note so then we'll see Alright, uh, Hussain, everything is clear, shall we? Oh, cool. Alright, you guys can write this down. I'll be back. I just need water. All right, now in about 10 minutes, you guys need to rejoin. However, let's move forward now. Okay, so now we are going to look at the design of an alternating current 
generator so it's very simple similar to the So it's not here and then similar to very like really similar to motor south here and then we have a coil and then this coil is basically Wait, I need to do this. Okay. This coil is basically um, going through an axle. Oh my god. So they're like uh, attached like this and then just the same way there are rings like complete rings but separate rings like this and these are then connected to the carbon brushes which are then connected to some voltmeter or you know a bulb or something like that. On the other side, we have like, you know, blades of turbine, whether it's uh, the air wind one, whether it's water one or whatever that is. So this is A, this is B. So what truly happens is that these two are called the slip rings. These are the carbon brushes. That's the permanent magnet and that's the coil, that's the blades of turbine. Alright, so what you're going to do is, you need to understand this, that whether it's wind or whatever force you're applying, so suppose that it's causing it to turn like this. Let me use a different color. That's not fair. Which color should I use? Okay. So whether it's turning, like it's trying to turn it this way, which means now in order to turn this way, we must apply a force upwards from A and downwards from B. So it will cause it to move, right? When it moves, what happens is that it causes the magnetic field, uh, I went to yellow. The magnetic field, which is between north to south, to get cut from the coil. When the magnetic field is cut from the coil, it causes a change in flux, right? So I'm going to write it down here. So as the coil is rotated, the coil cuts. The magnetic field this causes a rate of change of magnetic flux which induces EMF or current that's what you're gonna write. All right, that's Faraday's law, fairly simple. The induced EMF changes 
its direction every half turn and why does it do that because to oppose the movement of the rotating coil hence alternating current is induced is that clear everyone yes sir good now i just want to tell you that slip rings slip rings and commutators are different like commutators like half rings these are full slip rings are only there to make sure the wires of the external circuit do not entangle there is no other reason to put them all right just to keep the external circuit uh, there all right so i'll just show you the generator as well so first of all just look at write it down then please All right. So in one minute, when the meeting ends, we will rejoin. I'm going to show you a generator, and tomorrow, then we'll learn more about it. That how we can actually make it better. Okay. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, we just needed to uh, learn why there's alternating current. That's all. generator sim All right. Where are my people? Okay. So if you look at it now, you might basically realize this that the generator here it's moving, and you might see that the field is like going from red to that, and as it is being moved. there's a force on it you might realize that basically the wire keeps on cutting the magnetic field and then when the wire is cutting it it causes a change in flux in fact if you see the voltage it keeps on switching from the positive side 
to the negative side you guys see and after every half turn you might see that the arrows the current direction changes right do you guys understand this and if you increase the rotation like if you increase the rotation so you might see that the now the magnitude of the voltage induced emf induced is much more and if you reduce that it is going to be smaller as well and if it stopped like it stopped no current if you move it a little bit of course a little bit voltage the faster it goes the faster the magnitude is going to be higher is that clear everyone any questions now so these are the slip rings they're complete rings and then just to keep the outer circuit like that all right